Hello students, in this video, I'm going to cover the question number one of the writing part of your haikal. Okay, just read the question. In the figure, the net, okay, net electrostatic force. So the first step, what is the meaning of force? We know the formula F equals Q1, Q2 over R square. Net force means net forces. So summation of all the forces should be equals to zero. F1 plus F2 up to Fn, how many forces and the sum should be zero. On the charge, QA is zero. Okay, F determine the magnitude. Okay, so in this, we need to find the magnitude of Q0. Very easy question and interesting. Let's say there is a charge and we are looking for the forces. Okay, so just make a square here, which will be easy to find out everything. Okay, just draw the square. And guys, you also do the same question with me huh? so that you can understand. So guys, here is the charge QA and I need to find the value of forces. So I know force is equals to K, Q1, Q2 over R square. So I'm looking for distances Q0 and QA. The total distance is 2 a because in the question it is given 2a and negative 2a so if you make a square here like this so the distances are like exactly the same okay and here in the center we have a body b here we have a body c i'll make it different for you so that you can understand okay make it easy for you solve b to a this point there is a triangle okay what is this distance 2a what is this distance a because full distance is 2a so can i solve r a b r of a b Okay, now we can solve R A B, which is equal to root of A square plus 2 A square, which is equals to root 5 A. Clear? Okay, now there is an angle theta also. Let's say this angle is alpha. This angle is alpha. So find this angle also. Can I say alpha is equals to tangent inverse okay so this becomes your here is an angle so this will behave like a base and this part is behaving like a perpendicular okay so can i say perpendicular divided by base which is equals to tangent inverse okay so a divided by 2a solve this so the answer should be yes 26.6 degree clear okay similarly we have the another force with the c now the major point this is the distance a here is the distance 2a so can i say the both the things are same okay we find the r a b similarly r a c r a c so if you solve the r a c you will find the same answer root of a square plus 2a whole square so the answer is root 5a even then your angle alpha is also the same so i can write alpha is equals to tangent inverse and the answer is same you can say 26.6 degree till here clear okay we find the two forces huh? this is the force number one f a b and this is your force f a c now you need to understand why i'm putting these directions here the charge here is negative this charge is positive okay the force of attraction and even here negative here is positive charge the force of attraction now the third major point you need to understand between Q0 and QA. Here is the force of repulsion. It means it will move out like this. F O A. So you need to find distance R O 
a okay now the third point huh? r o a when you find out just see in the diagram so this distance is 2a this distance is 2a so can i say 2a square plus 2a square which is equals to root 8a clear okay now the major thing major major thing huh so once you understand the question will be almost finished so this is your going out now alpha you understand here let's say angle is theta angle is theta okay so can i say now step number two huh this is the major change step number two find theta so can i say theta plus alpha equals to 45 degree because we are cutting this line this line is cutting the square from the diagonal like as a diagonal from the center so as we know the alpha so theta is equals to 45 minus alpha 45 minus 26.6 degree which is equals to your 18.4 degree clear okay now third point step number three we need to understand force a b plus force of b c force of uh, force of a b plus force of a c they are in opposite directions and force of o a is in the opposite direction just check one direction is like this one direction is like this and what i need to do i need to balance three forces so guys this is the last and the major part huh? one force f o a one force is like this and one force is like this yes or no so can i break the forces okay break this force like this here is an angle theta we already solved so this is your f b a so can i say angle theta so it will become f b a cosine of theta and this will be your f b a sine of theta yes or no fine okay similarly divide the other one so here here is your angle theta and this is your force c a so this will become your force c a cosine theta and this will be your force c a sine of theta both are equal cancel out each other so what is the total value f a b f because both are same f cos of theta plus f cos of theta which is equals to f o a now just add them twice of f cos of theta equals f o a now just place the values and solve it so two times of what is f k times of q1 or you can say q a q b divided by r a b square which is equals to cosine theta also just put the cosine theta which is the major part cosine theta equals to k times of q naught q a r o a square okay before going to start to solve k and k cancel q a and q a cancel so now solve this 2 q b over r a b square cosine theta equals q naught over r o a square <coughs> clear guys now we need to find q naught place all the values take this this side so 2 q b cosine theta multiply r o a square divide by r a b square okay q naught two times q b is one times 10 is per negative nine cos what is the value 18 point 
फोर ओके एंड आर ओ ए रूट एट ए स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय रूट फाइव ए स्क्वायर सॉल्व दिस फास्ट 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 एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ क्यू नॉट इज थ्री पॉइंट जीरो थ्री टाइम्स टेन रेज टू पावर नेगेटिव नाइन कोलम क्लियर है इस ओके फाइन Now question number two. This is example number three from your book. This is very easy question. Two charged particles are placed Q one. Okay, Q one is given. Is located at the origin. This is the major point. Q two is given. Zero point three five micro coulomb is located on the positive x axis. X two is zero point four meter. Where should the third charge? Where should means we are looking for the distance. Third charge Q three be placed to be an equilibrium. What is the meaning of equilibrium? Equilibrium means the both the forces. Okay, it is given here. The force on it sum to be zero, or you can say the both the forces F one three should be equals to F two three. Just solve it. Finish, huh? Okay, simple thing. Very simple thing. Here no distance is given. Take it x. Clear. And the full distance is given. This full distance, yes or no? This distance is given zero point four meter. So what is this distance? Tell me, guys. From here to here, can I say zero point four minus x? Yes or no? Okay, finish now. F one three, F one three. So k times of q one, q three over. Okay, Q one, Q three. So can I say x square, f two three, k times of Q two, Q three over zero point four minus x square. Okay, now place them equal. Khalas. Okay, so k Q one, Q three over x square equals k times of Q two, Q three over. Zero point four minus x square. Zero point four minus whole square. Not like this. Whole square. Okay. So make some things cancel. K and K cancel. Q three and Q three cancel. So what is left? Q one over x square equals Q two over zero point four minus x whole square. Okay. Taking root both side. Root. Both side. Now solve it. Finish. So when you take it root negative uh, root q one over x equals root of q two over zero point four minus x. Yes or no? And what you need to find? You need to find the x. Place the values. We have q one. Yes or no? Value of q one is zero point one five micro coulomb. Which is equals to zero point one five multiply ten to the negative six coulomb. Q two is also there zero point three five micro coulomb, which is equals to zero point three five times ten to the negative six coulomb. So place it here. You will find x is equals to zero point one six meter. Clear? Okay, guys. So now I will meet you in the next question. Question number seventeen.